Good evening, and welcome to A Heap of News. I'm Noel Zanker. A shocking series of crimes has rocked the nation. The five individuals thought to be responsible performed the crimes in a short period of time across five major towns, including the capital. It has left thousands devastated, and the Prime Minister admits that recovery will take a lengthy time. The criminals are currently facing trial in Lower Prickshire Courthouse. We now take you live as the trial begins. We begin. Now, I want to get this trial over with, because quite frankly, we all know what the outcome will be, and I'm bloody knackered. We have five suspects, the five thought to have carried out these horrible crimes. I understand that all five will be having their trials simultaneously. This is mostly to save time and taxpayers' money. So let's get on with it. First defendant is Caitlin Bartlett. You have been charged with attempted banticide. Three people have been badly injured, claiming to have seen your videos. What is your defence? Your Honour, hello. Looking great today. Is that a new wig? Why, yes it is actually. Well, it looks great. What doesn't look great, though, is sending five innocent YouTubers to jail. What was it you said? Three people injured watching Caitlin Bartlett's videos. Clearly they fell down some stairs or got attacked by some coyotes. All three claim that before blacking out, they were watching Caitlin Bartlett's video, How I Am After School. They said that the video was so excellent that their banter glands ruptured, causing severe internal bleeding. Her videos are great, Judge, but you can't prove that they caused these injuries. I mean, come on, my grandma ruptured a banter organ the last time she got out of a freaking wheelchair. It wasn't no damn video. So all three ruptured their banter organ at precisely the same time whilst watching Caitlin Bartlett's video... But the video wasn't the cause. Okay, maybe. Next, John Cartas. You have been charged with inappropriately displaying good quality videos, and this took place at Heap City Zoo. Witnesses say that you are illegally displaying your recent Outlast playthrough, and the brilliance radiating from it caused the zoo's newest wolf to swell up to a hundred times normal size and explode. The resultant explosion coating the entire attraction with banter juice. Defence. That could have been caused by anything, Your Honour. Perhaps there was something in the food that the wolf didn't agree with. Uh, Maybe it was an allergic reaction. I don't mean to interrupt, but the only thing proven to cause exploding wolf syndrome is extremely good video content. We established that in the last shout-out video. It's never been scientifically proven, Your Honour. Either way, we have film footage of this happening, so there's no point of even debating it. (coughs) Moving on. Jiu-Jitsu Don. You have been charged with causing civilians to spit out their coffee. They were so in awe of your next car game video that their instant decaf came spurting right back out. Your Honour, is making people spit out their coffee really such a crime? It is when it takes place in a sports arena, accommodating 100,000 people. The entire town of Prick was flooded. The population is four feet deep in decaf. And the annual pygmy gathering was a total disaster. Who's complaining? It's free coffee. If I wasn't here defending these sorry guys, I'd be over there stocking up for the next millennia. That was a very silly thing to say. The scripting for this video is atrocious. (coughs) Next. Drunk Monkey Games. You have been charged with being too banterous. The banter levels, as reported by our expert, the Wizard of Banter, are well over 9,000. You entered the north a week ago, and the land within a ten-mile radius became uninhabitable. Anybody who entered became so enthralled in your videos that they may never recover. Defence. Your Honour, I'd like to ask a very simple question. Should these YouTubers be sent to a heap of land jail simply for existing? His presence has caused many civilians to be happy. That lowers productivity, and that is against the law. So what are you suggesting? Anybody who just so happens to make the top quality videos, and anybody who just so happens to stray into a heap of land, should be thrown in jail? Yes. Oh, sorry. 
can't really defend you there, Junk Monkey. Sorry. Last one. Headshots of KK. Oh, you've been here before. Obviously bailed yourself out. Anyway, this time you're charged with dangerous YouTubing. We actually have video footage here of one of these videos. I believe it's called Hatterful Boy... Hateful, Hatterful... Hatterful Boyfriend, Not Since the Accident. To test the legality of the video, we shall perform the wolf test. Bring in the wolf. Play the video. And we're back! I thought it was nap time. It's not nap time! Wake up! Nine. We just started! Alright. Attend! Attend! We have to pick which class we're attending! Where should we go? Hit the button! I'm hitting the button. Oh my god, are you serious? I swear to god. I <laughs> Wait, hold on! I think that's all the proof I need. Your Honor, that wolf was bound to explode even if you didn't play the video. Be quiet. Your lines are very badly written. Has the jury reached a verdict? We find the five defendants guilty. No surprises there. I sentence all five of you to 15 million years of being ashamed of yourselves. Good. Now we can go home. Once again, the great nation of A Heap of Land is safe from villainous YouTubers, thanks to the wonderful work of our police services and our fair justice system. Remember, if you'd like a shout out too, just advertise the A Heap of Games channel on any social media or any internet forum, and post a link in the comments below. This has been A Heap of News. I'm Newell Zanker. Thank you, and good night.